This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. I don't want to be spotted here. or something. Keep your eyes open or your warm pool. They're probably long gone by now. On alert. No fooling me next time.
muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Looks like someone dug here. Do you have the seals for me? I do. More seals and more proof what we're doing is working. Thankfully, there are at least some people in power willing to listen to me. I'll leave the politics to you. As it should be. And I have more work for you, assuming you're up for it. I'm always interested in more work. I was worried about employing a mercenary, but you've been a pleasant surprise. Yes, that's what they all call me. A pleasant surprise. I suspect if they call you anything offensive, they don't live long. I couldn't say. At least I have you working with me, instead of getting in my way. Are the generals giving you trouble? <sighs> they refuse to acknowledge I know what I'm doing. But it doesn't matter. I'll get the job done, and eventually all of Athens will know it. Are you ready for more work? I'll get you your seals. Thank you. First, I have some questions. Who does a general like you look up to? You know who was a true hero? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Odysseus. He used his wits to triumph. Wily Odysseus, they call him. Without him, the Trojan War would have been lost. And the other generals understood that. What do you think your future holds? Victory or death. You don't stay a general for long if you don't win battles. I suppose many generals die on the field. Not the majority. The Athenian people are the greatest threat to a general's life. If you displease them, they'll remove you from office, ostracize you, or even condemn you to death. And you want this job? There is no greater purpose than the glory of Athens. It's my duty and my honor. Why is it I always find you here? Athena is the goddess of wisdom and war. What better place for a general to ask for blessings? You don't seem very devout to me. I'm not the first general in my family. My father was as well, and his father before him. You would have learned military thinking from a young age. Exactly. My grandfather brought me here when I was a child. He stood me here and told me Athena was our patron. That we must always offer her our respect on the eve of war. He sounds like a wise man. He was. He died in battle the next day. You come here to remember him? And to remember that though the gods may be our patrons, they will not always protect us. I know enough. Prepare for defeat!
Atis was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me. If you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then, your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of! And if they lied? Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However, those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes! You're right! So, you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another, 
even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe.
If I go out any farther, I'll capsize. Away. You're released until further orders. Oh, my God. 